Pete Gustus here. I just wanted to share some information. Recently, it seems like I wanted to just explain a couple things about the economy. President Trump, he actually seems like he's the best all around president, in my opinion. Basically, the economy's been booming, except for this small hiccup with the coronavirus. You've got people like John Voigt here who publicly have stated that he's a great president. I'll put a link in the article if you want to see it and explain what he's trying to explain. The other thing, historically, unemployment is at an all-time low for minorities. So you have people like uh, Latinos and Blacks that are usually two times as high being unemployed or actually working under Trump. So here's the stats. I'm going to actually put a link to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics so you can see how the unemployment rates have been. More people are getting back to work because of Trump, and it's great. And more minorities are actually getting out of jail because of prison reform and the First Step Act. So President Trump, he basically has the First Step Act, and it's helping people who've been incarcerated for a long time get out of jail, get them back with their families, and you know help get them working. The big part of what I think is a problem with America's prison for profit, sadly, the, the way the prison systems worked, it actually, in my opinion, is not set up to help reform people. It's not set up to help them to get back to work. And Trump is doing things to help get people back to their communities. The other thing that's happening as a business owner, this can affect you too, is in minority areas, there are opportunity zones. The opportunity zones for revitalizing a community had a great impact. So here, there's the link is going to be here. And basically in an opportunity zone, which are mostly minority areas, you can get incentivized funding to help rehab buildings, multi-units, and create infrastructure that would help create jobs to local areas. So when you're looking at that, it's making a big difference for a lot of people. One of the things I also wanted to talk about uh, as regards to the economy and small businesses and self-employed people, uh, I, other people mention what are the things that could be improved. By no means am I picking on Trump when I say this uh, because it has nothing to do with him. It's actually the quite, quite the opposite. I was at a meeting recently. Uh, I was in Philadelphia. It was last year, and there were, t were minority communities talking about what they can do to help improve businesses and help minority communities. And some of the people there were actually bashing Trump and saying, we need to impeach Trump. And I was looking around, uh, probably I was one of the whitest people there. Not that I have a problem with that, but I was like, this is stupid. People are sitting here talking about how bad Trump is. And we're at a meeting talking about how to improve businesses. So I said, well, you know, why don't we have a 10% tax rate for small businesses? If small businesses and self-employed people have a 10% tax rate, and I would say if that was up to a million dollars, that would be, in my opinion, what, we, what would be considered a small business. The small business owners all support local communities. They have local storefronts. They have local jobs. They hire mostly local people. They probably live locally. And um, they're backbone of the community. So I think if taxes were lowered for small businesses and self-employed people, it would allow them to invest more money in their community, hire more people, and do things that they needed to to help strengthen a local economy. Uh, that's why as a small business owner myself, I would be in support of a 10% tax rate. So... <laughs> My phone's always ringing, and I hope yours is too. Pete Gustus with the Small Business Resource Center. Have a great day. Like and subscribe, comment, let me know what your thoughts are.